how do you get some of these young minds to produce innovation from rural sectors and not just urban sectors? How do we mix very old traditions with science uh, and tech of the future? Project Indus was one of our seminal efforts to build this large language model. We started looking at one of the most prominent languages which is spoken in India, which is Hindi. Today, we have that same model on Intel AI PCs as well. We actually created something called BHAML, where we actually told the kids, look, you can code in the language of your own choice. Hindi, Punjabi, English, Marathi, all the languages available. And we went around and trained at almost about 150,000 kids in this country, rural kids, and trained about 25,000 teachers with it. Imagine that these kids now have AI PC in the village community center. Now these kids only know Hindi or let's say their own dialect. They continue to ask questions, to ask queries to this AI PC and they continue to get answers uh, in their own dialect. Even though there is no dialect representation of that particular topic, imagine what education would be with these kids, right? And where would they go? There's a huge part of the world that doesn't speak English. Imagine all of these kids today have AI PCs in their hand, have these specific models that they can talk to as if they're talking to their own teacher. A, they don't have to travel 40 kilometers to go to a village school, for example, or the school in their district. B, their, their questions will be answered right there, right then, in the dialect of their own choice. You give that kid a chance to make a better life for themselves. They might eventually learn English when they enter corporate world, they might enter urban sectors. But I think even where they are, the spark of creativity would not be killed just because they did not know a language. And I think that's one of the biggest things that that AI PC can do for us.